What were the two greatest commandments Jesus gave that the law and prophets depend on? Um, honor your love your neighbor. Who was thrown in the into the lion's den? Um, hold on. Uh, I, I want to. No, I'm thinking of. I think that's too. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is there multiple choice? How many plagues did God send on Egypt? <laughs> Was that part of the first four? Yes. Love. It was loving God above either all or as you love God as each other. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I was like, maybe if you gave me a list, I, I could like. I'm going to say. Before Jesus started preaching, what was his occupation? Before he was a. Before he started his preaching, what was his occupation? He went fishing. <laughs> So I know this is a little bit different than my normal videos, but me and my church family wanted to take advantage of spring break on Panama City Beach to do some street evangelism, Bible trivia style. We had so much fun doing this and would love to do it again. So let us know in the comments how you think we did and if you wanna see us do more videos like this in the future. Enjoy the video. So my name is Tyler. Uh, what are y'all's names? Abby, Nico, Carol, and Dorit. It's a pleasure meeting y'all. My name's Caleb, and what's y'all's name? Bobby. Layla. How old are you? 18. 21. 49. I'm 72. I'm 20. 20. 19. We got some youngins. <laughs> Where are y'all from? New York. From Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, man. <laughs> That's a ways away. <laughs> Ohio. 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 China. Nice. You're really far away. What brings you to Panama City? Uh, we're on spring break. Probably. Spring break. Spring, spring break. break. Vacation. 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 Spring break. Spring break. All right. I feel that. Feel that. Last year, um, I moved to Panama City Beach to do some street ministry with a house church, and I got married here a few months ago. And the Lord's just been bringing people together because um, a ministry that started online because we mainly met off of Instagram. Oh wow, that's that's awesome, brother. How often do you read your Bibles? Every day. Probably once a week. Um, I would say like. Once a month, twice a month, probably the same. And who is Jesus to you? He is my Lord and Savior. Uh, he's my Lord and Savior. Our Savior. Lord and Savior. My Savior and Lord. Lord and Savior. Uh, the Redeemer of ours. Lord and Savior. Father. Oh, I would say a good foundation for my everyday life. He's someone that inspires me to be a good person to others and um, see what I can do for others. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, she said it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> So, first question. After Jesus was crucified, how many days passed before he rose again? Three. Three? Final, Final answer? answer? Okay, you are correct. Nice. How many days passed before he rose again? Three. Final answer. Who defeated Goliath with a slingshot and stone? David. <laughs> David? Okay, okay. That was, that was too easy. But, you know, it's alright, it's alright. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? <laughs> Is that part of the first four? Yes. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? Plagues? Seven. Correct. Five. Wait, ten. Five. <laughs> we're gonna go with seven. Let's go we're gonna go, we're okay. going ten. We're going ten. All right, ten. Final answer. Ten. Final, ten. Answer. Ten. Final answer? Yeah. Okay. You are correct. It is <laughs> ten plagues. Who was thrown in the into the lion's den? Um, hold on. I I wanna, know no, I'm thinking of. I think that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is there multiple choice? No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I was like, maybe if you gave me a list, I, I could like. I'm gonna know. say. Who was thrown into the lion's den? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say um, Goliath, but I don't think that's <laughs> no. Right. Goliath is the giant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's a, uh, I'm just gonna let this. I'm evolve. gonna say Peter. Peter, that is not correct. Okay. It was. <laughs> it, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say Paul. David, Goliath, or Daniel? Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. All right, they got it right. <laughs> what is the best-selling book of all time? 
Is it? Bible? Yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah. Say okay. final answer? Final answer? Yeah? Sure. Yeah. It is the Bible. <laughs> nice job. What is the last book of the Bible? Revelations. Revelations? Final, final answer? Yeah. You are correct again. Revelation. That is correct. Revelation, final answer. That is correct. Okay, true or false? Jesus stayed away from bad people. False. That is true. Jesus stayed away from the bad people. False. I didn't say this. <laughs> Not stay away What's from the bad people. He helped the bad people. He helped them. We're going to say false. False? False. Final answer? Mm -hmm. You are correct. Name this Bible verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, and, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. It's um, John 3.16. Yeah, not John. Uh, is it? I'm, I don't know. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. John 3.16. All right, all right. This is a little easy for them. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Hold on. Now, cause now I feel like you're throwing me off, and I should actually just know this. <laughs> Say your final answer. Don't say final answer. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the first man and woman. What were their names? Adam and Eve. Finish the Bible verse. Darkness was over the surface was over the surface of the deep, and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, "Let there be blank," and there was blank. Light. That is correct. And God said, "Let there be blank," and there was blank. Let there be, let, let there be light, because it's darkness. Let there be light. light. He's let right. There be light. Light. Final answer? Yes. Yeah. That is correct. Let there be light. And God said, let there be blank, and there was blank. Light, and there was light. That is correct. Jesus looked at them and said, with man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are blank with God. Got but with God, for all things are blank with God. Possible. That is correct. Uh, I don't have it. You just want to skip? Good. We're gonna skip. Okay. The answer to that was possible. All things are possible with God. So. Oh, perfect. Okay. We should know. Name the disciple that betrayed Jesus. Judas. Judas. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Who was the mother of Jesus? Mary. 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 Final answer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who was the mother? Of Jesus. Mary. Mary? All right. Yeah, yeah. Easy again. All right. What was God's sign to Noah? That he would never destroy the earth by flood ever again. A rainbow. Man, he is, he is crushing this. <laughs> what would be a good hint for this one? Hmm. Imagination. What was God's sign to Noah that he would never destroy the earth by flood again? A rainbow. You are correct. It's something that you see up in the sky. Oh. So you can get some help if you need to. Rainbow. <laughs> Is it really? Oh wait, no. That actually that actually might have been what it was. It was. He did. He showed Noah a rainbow. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Man, the crowd's going wild right now. <laughs> And true or false, Jesus' first recorded miracle was turning water into wine. I think so. Yeah. yeah. True, 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 true. True. Okay. All right. That is correct. Y'all are good. Yes. First. Wait. True. Like what's true, true, first? True. True. True or false? True. Okay. That is true. Okay. Yeah. Is the book of Matthew in the Old Testament or the New Testament? New Testament. Matthew. Old. No. New. 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 Uh, we're going new. Final answer? Final yeah. answer. You are correct. <laughs> now we are getting to the more difficult stuff. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. How many people did Jesus feed the loaves and fish with? Which time? Oh, I five of them. How many people did he? I don't remember the that one. And fish. Uh, like, I'm going to say 300. 200. 212. I'm going to say that the time that everyone knows about that. Yeah. 5,000. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a hint. It's higher. 500,000. A million. <laughs> okay. The answer is 5,000. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> How many of each type of animal did Moses bring onto the ark? Two. Two? It's actually a trick question. I don't know, we talked about this on the car yeah, ride. Yeah, we I don't did. <laughs> so, 
while you're on the right track, the only thing is, as I said, how many animals did Moses bring onto the ark? Moses? Not Noah. <laughs> Classic. How many times did Peter, Simon, deny Jesus? Three times. Three times. Or Simon denied Jesus? Three. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Three times. Three times is correct. Right. What did Jesus give his son Joseph that made his brothers jealous? Um, what did he give Joseph? I should know that. <laughs> what do you give I've him? got nothing. Like, okay, wait, let's, let's think about this. <laughs> what would he give him? Do you want me to say it again? Yeah. Okay. What did Jacob give his son Joseph that made his brothers jealous? Oh, um, his, like, inheritance when he dies. What's the, I'm not sure the exact words. The item involved has a lot of colors on the spectrum. No? Nope, that's incorrect. No. That's incorrect. It is a coat of many colors. A jacket? A cloak. A jacket. All right, we're going to go jacket. I, she said the word. She did say the word. It's a coat of many colors. We will accept Perfect. it. Finish this Bible verse. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your... Mind. Oh, mind, yeah. Correct. <laughs> nice job. Name the first two sons of Abraham. Abraham. Isaac and Esau. Um, no, not Esau. No, 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 no. Isaac. It's, um, it starts with a... Uh... Wait, I know this. Ishmael. I know the Chinese, but I don't know the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to say Jacob. Oh, I, I need to, like, I, we're bad, I need a minute. I'm really I don't bad know. at this. <laughs> I read about it in school. <laughs> that one's an I don't know. <laughs> you, can you give me multiple choice on that one? Isaac. Your hint is that y'all are actually on the right track. Okay, okay. so yeah. Jacob and Ishmael. Wait, wait, or, is it? Wait. It's Abraham. Abraham, right? Abraham, yes. Abraham. Isaiah or Isaac? <laughs> Isaac, Isaac is correct. Isaac is correct. <laughs> No, it was. It's, it might be Esau, actually. David, Jacob, or Ishmael. Ish, Ish. Wait, I think it's the Ish. Wait, I, Isaac and Ishmael. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's just go I with said that. I've Jacob before, so now I'm like. Just go for it. Go just do it. it. You got it. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna say Ishmael and Isaac. You would be correct. Nice. I'm so curious. our final answer is Ishmael. No, that, I don't think that's correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Isaac and Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> Where exactly did God give Moses the Ten Commandments? Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Final answer. That is correct. Was it Mount Judah? No, it was, no. It was not Mount Judah. Before Jesus started preaching, what was his occupation? Before he was a... Before he started his preaching, what was his occupation? He went fishing. <laughs> Before Jesus started preaching, what was his occupation? Carpenter. That is correct. Fisherman? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Final answer? Fisherman. Yeah. That is incorrect, unfortunately. <laughs> How many books of the Bible are there? Um, 66, right? Yeah, 66. Nice. <laughs> what sea did Jesus walk on? The red. red. No. Oh, Wait. Um, no. That's a... <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> what sea did Jesus walk on? The Sea of Galilee. Nice. Without hesitation. I like that. The Sea of Galilee, right? No, I don't know. No, I'm is, that, is that your lock? Is that that's locked fine. in? Yeah, final answer. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Final that's correct. Sea oh, of Galilee. Yeah, that's <laughs> Who built the first temple in Jerusalem? They're discussing. Who built the first temple in Jerusalem? Um, that I do not know. Oh, <laughs> oh just, give, just give it a the shot. First temple of Jerusalem. The crowd has gone silent. Yeah, they, they don't know this. The person who built the first temple in Jerusalem was a king. Solomon was 
the sun. Right. Really? The, it is a king. Oh, king David. No. No. It's King Solomon. Solomon. Did you say final answer? Did you say answer? final answer? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. King Solomon final answer? King Solomon is right. I don't want to get this wrong. So I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I do All right, know. Well, I guess that's. Well, that one was King Solomon. King Solomon. So you want to say King David? Yeah. Do you have the same answer? Yeah. That is incorrect, unfortunately. It was King Solomon, actually. Solomon was after David. But he is the one who built the first temple in Jerusalem. What were the two greatest commandments Jesus gave that the law and prophets depend on? Um, honor your love your neighbor. We're gonna go with that. Steal and lie. No, I can't see that. We're gonna eyes. go with that. <laughs> love. It was loving God above either all or as your uh, love God as each other. Is that your final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, not. You're, you're, you're right there. You're right there. I, I'm just trying to think of the words. I know exactly what it is too. Um, I'm gonna go with just love love God above all others that's yeah I'll, I'll give that I'll give that one. it's love God with all your heart soul and mind and love your neighbor as yourself that's so true. <laughs> now name the fruits of the spirit and you have to name all of them just self-control name the fruits of the spirit that's the last one oh, I used to know the is I can't even Oh. Oh one I have not heard yet. So far you've gotten love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. There's one more. Like apples? No. <laughs> Oranges. <laughs> Cuties. Oh, sorry. Two. I, I can't one. think of it. Alright, uh, give me an answer. Any answer. Oh. Jesus. I believe. <laughs> hey, we believe in you. <laughs> Faith. Faith, yes. I'll take it. Faithfulness. That was it. I don't know. I've never heard that. So skipping. All right, well, that was the last one. So how many was that? Who's yeah, counting? There's a multiple choice for that. <laughs> last but not least, what is the shortest verse in the Bible? Uh, Jesus wept. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Y'all look good. What were the Hebrew names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? <laughs> I only know them as that. <laughs> uh, I know the story too with the, with the fiery furnace. Um, what are the Hebrew names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Oh, I don't Because those know. are the Babylonian <laughs> names. We're not even going to try this <laughs> one. What was their he Hebrew names? Yes, because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is their Babylonian names. Yeah, I, I don't know that. Okay, it was Mishael, Hananiah, and Azariah. Oh, okay. Name the four Gospels of the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You nailed it. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is correct. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Final answer? Yes. Final answer. That is correct. Y'all did an awesome job. Unfortunately, you didn't get all eight questions correct. We had an awesome time with these people, praying for them and hearing some of their stories. It was also encouraging to see that we were one of many mission groups out there doing street evangelism. And before leaving, I asked the rest of the team what their thoughts were on today's outreach. Yeah, I think we did really good actually. I was very surprised by how many people um, uh, knew a lot of those questions, even some of the more difficult ones. I think we got the reaction that we thought we would get, to be honest, but I feel like everyone was genuinely surprised by some of the answers. I think it was really cool how many people we saw excited to participate. Um, it was also really cool to get a chance to pray with these people, even if it was just safety for their visits and rides home. And I think I was a phenomenal sign holder today. Please make sure to be praying for all the people that we met today. Make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts, and share it with a friend. I hope this brought some joy to your day and hope to see you again back in the sanctum. Have a blessed life.
If you're still here and would like to know how you can support the channel, Skill Sanctum now has its own online store that you can buy all kinds of items from. I still have a lot more products I want to add, but you can see these items on the store tab, underneath my videos, and on skillsinventory.com. Thanks again. Can't wait to see you back for the next one.